Hi there. Welcome to Science. This is Period 89. Today we're going to be talking about continental drift. And what I'd like you to do today, I do have a class here, so if you hear some people giggling or answering questions, that's that's why this class is very giggly. Um, I think on your screen, can you guys answer the question on the board? What do you think continental drift is? Will it let you do that? No. Okay, so what do you guys think continental drift is by just looking at that word kind of says it. And we did a little bit of a Pangea gizmo yesterday that talked about that. Yeah, Katie? Yeah, when the continents drifted apart. It's in the name. Continents drifting. So she said splitting, and that's fine. Continents are splitting apart. Um, so here's the actual definition. So the theory of continental drift is that all Earth's land masses were once joined together in a supercontinent, and then they drifted to the present location. So right, I'm going to try and point. Look, I'm pointing to the board right here. You can see this is what it looked like. We call that Pangea. Okay, we built that in the gizmo. Right, you remember that? They were all smushed together. Okay, you were building that using the present day uh, continents, and you kind of try to form those together best you could. And then over time, you can see as from this one down to this one, you can see how they start to separate over time. Now it actually goes from oops, now it's this one the one all the, on the other side, down and over. Um, can you shut the door for me, please, someone? Thank you. I'm trying to record in here. All right. So, um, continental drift. Uh, there's a video that is in Polaris that you guys can watch later. It's a little bit lengthy, but if you need a little refresher, you can go back to that and uh, take a look at that. All righty. So, Here's a short little video on continental drift. You should have seen this yesterday. Thank you. So here, I want you to pay special close attention to India. Watch India. Okay, what is India doing? It's going much faster than the rest of them, right? So what does India run into? Yeah. Asia. Yeah, it runs into Asia. And what is in between India and Asia? There's some sort of land feature that's between India and Asia. It's a big feature. It's known around the world. Yeah, up here. Yeah, the Himalayan mountains. So how do you think the Himalayan mountains form? Yeah? Yeah, when they smash together, and then we'll form the mountains. Okay, when two pieces of land crash into each other, they form mountain ranges. Okay, um, Pangea. I did mention this a little bit earlier, and we've talked about that in the Gizmo. Pangea is the name given to the supercontinent believed to have formed 250 million years ago. So it's a very, very old, old thing. Okay, um, you can kind of see where the continents were. Now, were those lines there at the time? No, they they weren't there. They're just showing you what you know where Africa might have been and. North America, South America, all the continents, okay, and other land masses. Um, and there's other, you know, ideas of what it looked like. So they're all together. They weren't all in the exact location they were today, and they slowly have drifted apart. All right, now, uh, just need to move me over here in this blank space. Some continents seem to fit together like a puzzle. So the first piece of information is landforms. The first piece of evidence is landforms. That's what Alfred Wegener, the guy who came up with this, saw. He's like, hey, I'm seeing some coincidences with how these landforms are similar. Okay, So he looked at Africa and South America. And when, in the gizmo, he should have seen how those kind of look like they fit together like a puzzle. Right? Yeah, Africa uh, kind of tucks in South America in, in that uh that cove there, right? And you'll see a picture here in a minute. Then also they have the same coal fields in North America. Whoa, what is that? There we go. And the same coal fields in Europe and North America. So what is coal made from? Anybody know? Coal is made from something. Yeah. Carbon. Carbon, yeah. And carbon comes from what? Do you know? It's living things. Okay. So the, the same living thing was in Europe and the same thing was also in North America. So that coal hat, it can't just be the same if they're in different climates and different areas. They, they were very, very similar. Okay. Also, you notice that mountain ranges, rocks, they were very similar. The same rock in Africa and South America, clear across the ocean. 
They're not throwing rocks over. There's nothing to carry that rock. So rocks would have flowed across the sea and just magically end up on the land. They were a mountain range between there, and then they were pulled apart. Those rocks were torn into pieces. So landforms is a, the big idea here, is that there were similar landforms on different continents. So here, over here, you will see uh, the South America and the uh, continent Africa and how they have kind of fit together like a puzzle piece. So right up here, you can see how that fits together. Now, why is it an exact piece or an exact uh, match? You're like, Mr. Jones, they, they don't really fit together that well. Why? Yeah. Yeah, so the land disappeared. What do we call that when land kind of goes away or disappears? Yeah. Yeah, erosion, weathering, deposition, all that process happens to the land. Okay, so it changes over time. Good. All right, and then we have the coal fields used down here. Okay, the same coal is in, you know, in, the, in North America, Europe, and a little bit in Africa. Okay, and then over here, you see that there is the same mountain ranges. So those mountain ranges, those rocks are very similar. Okay. All right, uh, and then fossils. Kind of point like on the screen. So fossils is our next piece of evidence. We He took a look at fossils that were in, um, they were, well, they were fossils of land animals. That's key. They were land animals. They weren't animals that could swim and uh, be on land. Land animals that cannot swim, but they were found in Africa and South America. So how in the world could they get over there? We didn't have boats at the time. People weren't around to transport these things around. Yeah, Mr. Jones, we have zebras in Cleveland. Well, that's because we brought them here. We bred them to do that. We, we did that. Okay, We have the capability to do that now. Whereas way back when, we weren't around to be doing that. Okay, So how could that those animals be on different continents? Well, those continents were together, and they just mingled about, and they the continents were torn apart. You would have those fossils left. There, okay. Now the animals could have died there, and then the continents be torn apart, or they could have been living. It just again, it's very slow, so it could have been just a crack, and over time they just crack got bigger. You know, lots of things could have happened. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I just have a question. Yeah. Before humans actually started mapping stuff out, could it be possible that the continents were closer together, closer together than what they are now? Um, I'm trying to think when they started mapping out the earth, but I mean, the continents move at such a slow rate, it, the map wouldn't have changed that much. Like they, they, they move as much as your fingernail move, grows. So it's not, I mean, you have to cut your fingernail every once, but that's not enough to like change the entire map. Does that make sense? So, all right, good question though. So these land animals were found on both continents. That's weird. Well, you think that's weird? What about a plant? That's even weirder. Okay, the same plant was found in South America, Africa, Australia, India, and Antarctica. Now, what's the continent that seems to stick out that's like, whoa, they found a plant there? Yeah. Yeah, Antarctica. Why is Antarctica weird? You have your hand up. What do you think? Oh, okay. Well, why would that be weird? Yeah, it's super cold and plants can't live there. And guess what? It's not just any old plant. It is a tropical plant. And tropical means what? Yeah. Warm, hot, humid. Okay. Like somewhere you want a vacation, maybe, if you're into that. Okay. So how would a tropical plant, why would there be a tropical plant in Antarctica? What does that mean about Antarctica? Yeah, wait in the back. Okay, it wasn't always cold, right? So it wasn't always cold there. So at one point, Antarctica had warmer climates, and eventually Antarctica moved to a colder climate because nothing can grow down in Antarctica. Okay? It's ice. Okay, So it went from warmer to colder. And then we also have the that on different continents. So that plant, you think about plants even in the United States, we don't even have the same plants in the same states. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here. Did you check out a DVD player with that? Uh, a DVD player? No, I have one. Oh, you have one? Yeah. Never mind. My one side you still have them. Oh, really? Oh, oh I don't have them anymore. Really? Yeah. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, cameo of Mr. Guthmacher, in case you missed him. All right. Well, moving on. So here's a map. Here's a here's a map of all the animals and the plants. And we we did this in the gizmo. 
uh, how we had those plants and animals mapped out. And you had to try and put those continents together. So hopefully that worked out. Uh, if you didn't have it exactly like this on the gizmo, it's fine. But you probably got it pretty close because that was probably the easiest part, wouldn't you say, is matching those fossils up you know, in the path, maybe, hopefully. Um, and then on, over here, you can see the, glo the Glossopteris the plant was in all these continents. Again, they were not all the same climate. Okay. Um, all right, then speaking of same climate, that's our third piece of evidence. So our first one, what are we talking about? We're talking about mountains. And so what's the what's the big idea there? Starts with an L. Oh, landforms. Okay, so our first piece of evidence was landforms. What was our second one that we just talked about a lot of? This an F. Fossils. And the next one is climate. So landforms, fossils, and climate. Those are our th three pieces of ev evidence. Okay. So we talked about the first point in climate is that fossils of tropical plants were found in polar regions. We just talked about that. Then there are scratches in rocks that were made by glaciers. Whoa, what hill on? What's a glacier? What's a glacier? You've learned about glaciers before, yeah. A big thing of ice. Big thing of ice. Yeah, big chunk of ice. Okay, that is slowly moving. It has picks up rocks and grinds the rock along the ground and then creates glacier scratches. Have you guys ever seen a glacier scratch before? Yeah, where did you see it? I saw it in the, uh, on the island up in Michigan. Uh, there's one in Kelly's, is that Kelly's Island you're talking about? Yes, or, okay, yeah, that's uh, technically Ohio, but yeah, it's up towards Michigan area. Yeah, it's that direction. But yeah, uh, Kelly's Island has, and also Mackinac Island, I think has some too up in Michigan. So um, I think Mackinac has glacier scratches. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What? Yeah, uh, I think I have a picture of one here soon, so I'll show you guys that. Um, and then I have a video later in the year that we'll talk about glacier scratches, and I I, do, I went up there and took some videos up there. Um, and then, so glacier scratches. Okay, so that what's weird about that? Glacier scratches are covering South America, Africa, Australia, and Antarctica. What's weird about that? Kind of the opposite reason why it's weird. South America, okay, Africa, Australia, those are all very what? Yeah. Very warm places, so it's be very difficult for a glacier to be sitting on those continents, right? Because it's, it wouldn't last, right? Think about now, even a chunk of glacier glacier in Ohio wouldn't last very long. Maybe the winter would be fine, but now it's, it's warm, right? Um, so that means that the climate has changed for those. That means the continents used to be in a colder region and have now moved to a warmer region, okay? Now, it's not saying the entire continent of Africa, the entire continent of South America. It just means there was some parts of it. All right. And then coal was found in Antarctica. Again, we talked about that. Coal is made out of natural, I'm sorry, living things. And those living things cannot live in Antarctica now. So that must mean that it must have been in a warmer climate. Okay. So it must have moved around. Uh, and we just answered that question. So here's, here's the uh, picture of the plant that I was just talking about. Uh, it, that looks like a very tropical plant. Do we see any of these types of leaves around here? No, because this isn't a tropical region. Okay, uh, here's uh, pictures of the glacier grooves. Just a small picture. There's a bridge that goes across them that you can look down into, and you can look at the glacier grooves. They used to let people down in there, so you can find pictures of people going in there. But the people started like you know being jerks and just, like spray painting it and like having picnics in it, and they'd be breaking them and stuff. And so you know how people are. Um, yeah. That's all I had to say about that. All right, and then here's some glacier uh, evidence here. This is where all the glaciers were seen. This is just like your gizmo. Uh, so the glaciers were all this big giant chunk right here. Um, so this they were all cold at one point. All right, uh, here's a rap that you can look at. About, I know this one's not a rap. This is just a song, Crust in Pieces. Okay, so maybe you guys can take a look at that later. That's an on Blair, so if you want to look at that later. All right, then we have Wegener. This is the guy who came up with the theory of continental drift. But the problem was he had lots of good pieces of evidence, right? You talk about fossils. What else? Fossils. What's the other piece of evidence? Yeah. Landforms. And what's the last one we just talked about? Yeah. Climate. Fossils, landforms, climate. Okay. So he had all of those. That seemed pretty compelling evidence, right? Well, they actually rejected his idea. They didn't. Scientists... They thought it was an okay idea, but they rejected it because he couldn't come up with an, uh, the reason why, what, what the force was that moved these continents. How do you move Africa? How do you move Eurasia? How do you move any continent, even if it's just something small like Hawaii? How do you move something like that? Okay, Hawaii actually doesn't. 
well, kind of is. We'll talk about Hawaii later when we talk about hotspot volcanoes. So he had no reason what the explanation was. It's the force that moves the continents. He had no, he had some ideas, but they weren't very good ones. Like maybe we're floating on water. Well, no, we figured out that rocks don't float. So it wouldn't make sense. So he had lots of ideas, but they didn't really make sense. So they rejected his idea. But later we found out he was actually kind of right. So, and then I put a picture of Daniel Craig uh, from James Bond because I think they look alike. So I kind of, Alfred Wagner is long dead. He died in a blizzard in Greenland. But uh, I think he's not really dead. Look at him. I think he's still around. I think he's a movie star now. Because he's like, I forget the scientists. They rejected my ideas. Someone's at my front door. Sorry about that. I swear, every time I'm trying to do a video, something goes wrong. All right, then we have a little comic here. Well, looking back, I suppose it's been going on for quite some time, but um, I forget the rest of the joke here. Hold on, and we'll go. But I only noticed that we were drifting apart during the last 50 million years. Okay, they're like in counseling, they're drifting apart. Yeah, that's not a very good joke. Um, so uh, if you click on this, that's another video. Um, it's also in Polaris. So we will probably look at that video tomorrow. Um, I do have one other video. It's a song, and it's the best video that you will have all year. So remote learners, go ahead and take a look at that. Um, I'm going to stop it here.